Hi, I'm Dr. Nabalski from Northwest Hair Restoration. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that's really important that patients ask me a lot about, which is the difference between the FUE and FUT, or the so-called strip harvesting techniques. So in hair transplantation, we need to get the tissue from somewhere to produce the follicles to transplant. So those come from the sides and back of the scalp. And the FUE technique is removing them one at a time. And then the FUT, or the strip harvest, is removing a, a small strip of, of scalp that produces a linear scar, whereas the FUE technique produces a small round scar. So the differences between the two are in, important, so let me kind of review those quickly for you. FUE produces small round scars, which are more difficult to see when you have your hair short or your head is shaved, uh, versus the linear scar from the uh, strip harvest method. Also, an FUE technique doesn't require any suturing after the procedure and tends to be a little more comfortable in the recovery phase. One of the downsides of the FUE technique, though, is that you have to shave the head around the sides and back to be able to get enough hair uh, uh, visible to take those out one at a time. So the strip harvest method doesn't require that, and so, you know, cosmetically that's a, a little bit more um, advantageous. Also, there's an important differential between the survival of those follicles. An FUE graft tends to come out kind of skinny, or as I call it, or skeletonized. There's not as much tissue around it. And an FUT, or strip harvested uh, graft, comes out from a microscope. That's the tissue separated there, and they can be made a little bit more chubby, and they, they tend to survive better after the transplant. So when you look at these two techniques, right now, most people will think about, well, which one do I do? Do I do FUE, do I do a strip harvest? Um, and moving forward, do I have to, if I do one, do I have to continue doing that technique um, if I have more procedures done? So your physician should help you to understand, you know, which one is the best for you, not necessarily which one's best for the physician. And finding out what that is will help you to decide at this particular time what technique you're going to have done. Frequently we have patients who have had previous strip harvesting procedures, have a very nice scar, but they're more interested in having an FUE procedure performed now because they need more grafts and they don't want to disturb that other scar because it looks great. Uh, so we'll do an FUE procedure and then remove the rest that way. That allows us to be able to, again, minimize the scarring over time. The other thing is to consider some people will have an FUE done initially and then they'll have a strip harvest done afterwards to get a larger number of grafts done at one time for a procedure maybe that requires two or 3,000 grafts. Sometimes we'll actually do a combination of those two during the single procedure. In other words, uh, a strip harvest is done, let's say the target number of grafts is 2,500 or 3,000 or more, but we can't get that many safely from removing a single strip of tissue without concerns about making a thicker, wider scar. So then we'll, we'll take the initial grafts from the strip and then whatever we need to remove otherwise will be taken from FUE extractions around the rest of the donor area. So this allows you to be able to have a little more flexibility. So I think it's a great way to approach this. It's not a this one versus this one kind of a situation. FUE and strip harvesting techniques can be done together or at different times on the same patient. Um, again, the expectation should be what do you need and what's best for you in your particular situation and your physician should be able to offer you either technique and do what's going to be best uh, to suit your needs. If you have any questions, you can contact me at Northwest Hair Restoration. I'm Dr. Nabalski. Thanks for listening.